Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry it's been a few weeks since I posted um, a talking video. I did post some recipes, although they might just be on the blog. I don't remember if I put them on YouTube or not, but um, thank you for joining me. And I'm sorry this video is a little late. Like I said, it is my video on the law of attraction and how I use the law of attraction and how I suggest you use the law of attraction. Now first let me begin by saying the Law of Attraction has an extremely large following and some have the time, the energy, the desire to really study it and live it, uh, breathe it so to speak and it, it is all encompassing and that's wonderful for them. Then there are other people like myself who just go by the general principles of it and how it can help my life. And I think sometimes people are misunderstood if you've heard of the Law of Attraction or the movie The Secret. Like for instance, when my friend introduced it to me and we started reading and I went back and started reading books from the 80s, they were very textbook-like and it was kind of hard to get a grasp on because it was talking about all kinds of things that I had no clue what they were talking about basically. And I mentioned to my other friend, you know, that I was interested in this. I just find it fascinating learning about all different types of philosophy and um, religion in a loose word, more of a spirituality. And I like to take what works for me, a little bit of good advice from this one and a little bit of good advice from that one. And then I kind of use it all to help me and, and put my own feelings and thoughts in action. And my one friend said, oh no, don't become one of them. And I was like, one of who? I mean, the only thing that I've read is positivity. But of course, with anything, there are obsessed people and people who um, maybe turn towards religion and spirituality, um, maybe not in the right way, or maybe in not the most beneficial way. And so always the negativity um, seems to be louder than the positive positivity. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. So bear with me just a second. This is the book. It's called The Astonishing Power of Emotions um, by Esther and Jerry Hicks. And I'll get into a second, into, into, excuse me, into it in a minute who they are. But um, this one I find to be a great book on people who want to know a little bit more about the law of attraction and how it can help them right now in their circumstance without having to like research and uh, try to figure out what is going on. This is a very practical guide. So I'll go over that in just a second. Okay, so let me begin by telling you a little bit of what the law of attraction is and who is the law of attraction or what is the law of attraction. Well, the law of attraction is often associated with these authors, Esther and Jerry Hicks. Esther and her husband Jerry and they have countless books out and there's lots of YouTube videos too so you can get an idea a little bit more of what we're talking about you can watch the movie the secret first although I watched that first and I still didn't get it so I think this is a good first book but anyway what it is it believes that we are here living is just part of our overall journey meaning we were alive in spirit form prior to being born we chose to be born and take on a physical life and then we will re go back to being in the spiritual world or the universe or whoever you whatever you believe I believe in heaven and um, an afterlife and a before life um, not in the clouds and the sky but just in general so for me it fits in nicely um, with what I believe and what helps me find motivation. So that's part of, that's a huge part of the law of attraction. And this universe, these other um, people that are not in the physical world, have collectively been called Abraham. Abraham is the voice, if you will, um, of this, the non-physical beings who give us advice and let us know what is um, the good things to do, the right thing to do, or how it works, basically. And so that's why you'll see a lot of books like Abraham said this, and then 
who's Abraham? Like I said, so he is the, na the name used um, to speak to those of us in the physical realm. Now, he communicates through this woman named Esther. And she communicates his words, and, and that's how it um, is translated to us in the physical world. Um, and it's all about positivity and positive thinking and how powerful our emotions are and our thoughts are. I hear it all the time, like, oh, oh, he's so emotional or she's so emotional, like that's a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. That shows that you're real, that you're human, that you have feelings. Um, at least I much prefer to associate myself with friends and family that have feelings and are emotional. Even if you don't agree all the time, I'd rather them be emotional and show no emotion at all. So that's how I use the law of attraction. Now, there are things called vibrations and that's how um, we align ourselves. And it gets very scientific and very detailed and very textbook-like. And I don't care to study that. I just don't have the time and I don't really feel the need. So for me, the way the law of attraction helps me is that what you think of is what will manifest. Now, I can't say, oh, I'm going to think 24 hours a day about being president of the United States and then I'm going to be president of the United States. I believe that you have to have some kind of a talent to get to be the president of the United States. For me, it's more about internal things. Yes, material things will be the end result of it, perhaps. But for me, it's more of looking for happiness, looking for inner peace, looking for spirituality. And that's how I use it. And so at the end of the day, whatever it is that you want to manifest will be a result of that. And that's how I view it. For instance, in this book here, one of the things I marked, it says, um, thought always comes first. Everything that you see around us was once a thought or an idea. We manifested that whether we realized it or not. What they say, the Lord Attraction, is a vibrational concept that matured into what we see as our physical reality. That's kind of like textbookish, but the bottom line is when you think positive things and you think in the moment, like what can I do today to be positive, to be uh, thinking in a mindset that will lead you toward your goal, then you will get to your goal. Okay, so that's how I use it. And like I said, this book is really great because it has specific situations. For example, I am totally disorganized. Like, what do I do? Like, there's situations that you can actually look up in the table of contents and say, I'm totally disorganized. I'm not happy at work. I cannot lose weight. How do I let go of people who hurt me, the feelings? I got a frightening diagnosis, maybe. My dog died. There's specific things in this book that you can look up and go to right away for a little assistance. Does it have the, all the answers to all the problems? Of course not, because they all come from within. This can be used as a good guide, and that's how I use it. And this book actually comes with a CD, although you might be able to find a lot of it on YouTube. But I like to have the physical book, and I can refer to it. And it does a good explanation in the introduction, a little bit about Law of Attraction and Abraham Hicks. and. Um, the CD is from workshops. They have workshops all around the country. I'm excited. I'm hoping that I get to go to one in Los Angeles in January with my friend. And um, that would be really great because I think it would be really interesting to actually learn and see for myself uh, and speak to people about these types of things. So um, I encourage you to get this book. Um, and think for yourself. I'm not here to convince you to do anything. I'm just letting you know that it has helped me and learning how powerful our emotions are and how powerful our thinking is. Um, and it, help, it has helped me not only in terms of reaching my goals, but also keeping inner peace while I'm doing so. Because sometimes it's hard, it's really hard and you're like, am I ever going to get to where I want to be? And it doesn't matter where you particularly want to be. It could be in a new state, it can be in a new job, in a new career. It could be all internal. I just want to be happy within myself. It's all a journey. And for me, this has helped because it keeps things in perspective. And like I've mentioned in other videos, 
I constantly remind myself, think positive, do this, uh, set your eyes and your mindset on a goal, but don't set it so much on the goal that you're not living in today. You only live in the present, and so you need to think positive and do the things that need that you need to do to get you to these goals. Like I said, it's not a magic book. You can't read it and be like, ooh, look at me, I have a brand new Ferrari. That's not how it worked. And I, if someone told me that, I would be kind of skeptical. <laughs> um, because there has to be some other reason that got you the Ferrari, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But, and if they believe that, I guess that's fine with them. It doesn't interfere with my life. But I'm a little more skeptical in terms of just say, oh, I think I'm, this is gonna happen and then it's gonna happen. Like I, like I said, I cannot say, oh, someday I hope I'm gonna be an Olympic gold medalist okay, when I have zero talent. I mean, that's just not realistic for me to believe in something like that. Could I be if I devoted 10 hours a day every day for my life? Perhaps, but like I said, you have to have some kind of a talent to do that and not kill yourself in the process. So. Um, if you have any questions about the Law of Attraction or this book in particular, feel free to ask me. Like I said, there are YouTube videos and you can do a search for this specific book on, on YouTube and also for different workshops that they have. Like I said, some of them might be kind of technical and might lose you for a little bit, but if you just keep in mind what I said in the introduction, meaning this is the non-physical lives trying to communicate with the physical life that we chose to be that's the basis of law of attraction and what you think you attract so if you hang out with people who bring you down constantly guess what you're not going to be feeling too good okay if you surround yourself with positivity and you surround yourself with good caring people you become good and caring or it comes out of you i should say because I, I believe everyone is inherently good and caring it's just they get sidetracked and distracted by many, many things. So, um, yeah, please feel free, excuse me, to um, leave me some questions, leave me some more um, comments maybe about like if you'd like me to talk in depth a little bit more about specific books or specific topics. But please do check it out. Um, do me a favor. Tell me what you think. Um, there's no right or wrong answer if you like it or not. If you tell me it's, you know, it saved your life, great. If it tells you that you don't believe a word of it, that's fine too. Whatever works for you. So um, I'm going to sign off for now. I am actually cooking something for my blog and so I'll have that up and maybe I'll try to remember to put it up on YouTube as well. So you'll see me there and um, yeah, have a great week. If I don't talk to you on social media, happy, happy Thanksgiving and I am grateful for each and every one of you. So uh, have a good day. Bye.